Steph Curry is now coming to the mic. We don't want to miss anything. Here's Steph Curry on 95.7 The Game. What's going on, Steph? Obviously, we know most of the situation by now. And in sports, nobody's saying it's okay, of course. But in sports, people fight. It tends to happen. Won't be the first time. Won't be the last time. I guess knowing that, what's the mood like of the teams? Is it something like they understand stuff like this happens? Or is there kind of an awkwardness in the air? Um, I mean, the vibe today in practice was great. Trying to take advantage of this week and make it about basketball and our preparation for the season. It's obviously an unfortunate situation that, you know, we're getting asked about it and it's a situation that could have been avoided. But um, there's a lot of trust in the fabric of our team, who we are, who we know those two guys to be, um, and how we'll get through it and try to continue to make it about playing great basketball. The uh, personal dynamics and stuff will work themselves out, and that's part again of the culture that we've built here. But um, you know, I like how we responded today. We had a great practice, good energy. <laughs> Try to keep uh, that as the focus as we move forward. Bob said in jest, obviously, that you told him uh, you need a raise. I, maybe you can parlay this into a payday at least. Yeah, not everything needs commentary. <laughs> uh, Steve talked about kind of he his belief Jordan's been good attitude wise uh, during camp. I just kind of wanted to get your yeah, that, whatever that. There's a specific tweet that was put out yesterday about insinuating that JP's attitude or something has changed since he's been in this uh, training camp or even you know whatever time window they're talking about it's absolute bs it andre addressed it yesterday with his tweet and, uh you kind of leave it at that jp's been great there's nothing that warranted the situation yesterday um and make that clear but it's also something that we feel like will not derail our our season and what we're trying to build and that's with draymond and you know as a part of that so the rest of it, hard when speculation becomes opinion and turns into borderline fact of like what actually happened. So uh, I hate that that became kind of part of the narrative, which it's not fair to JP. Uh, Steph, you um, came to a franchise in turmoil and your first media day had a little bit of drama and here you are in 12 and 12 years later, 13 years later, does it, is it just part of the job for you that essentially there's going to be some drama at some point and you kind of got to deal with it? Or did you think like at some point in your career, these things wouldn't happen? Sports is a kind of reflection of life. Like there's always things that come up that you don't foresee, maybe not prepared for. Um, the way I've approached it is you deal with reality as it comes you control what you can control and react uh, the way that you feel is necessary as a leader that's how I've done it my entire career, my entire life on and off the court um, and no matter how many reps you get at handling situations it's never fun, it's never great uh, but Again, it's about uh, you know dealing with reality as it is, and whatever happened yesterday, we deal with it. We, we try to move forward and make the best of it, and you know respect again what we've built. Um, I didn't think yesterday or at any point, oh, you know why is this happening? Or you know I've been here for this for this franchise so many times. You don't catalog like all the things you've been through because it's all. I mean. At the end of the day, it is all worth it because of what we've built, uh, but it is a re reflection of what life is. Like You're going to have to deal with some stuff, and uh, the great teams figure out how to do it and do it you know, professionally and make it about basketball. You're listening to Steph Curry on 95.7, the game addressing the media about Draymond Green and Jordan Poole's physical altercation. To get through it, to leave it in the past, and, and specifically with you and Dre, you know, when you got a guy that you're so close with, you've been through so much with, 
how do you approach these moments? You know, the KD situation had some parallels there, but how do you interface with Draymond when something like this happening? To be, be honest with him, um, he respects my opinion. He respects how I feel, and we've had those conversations. So be honest with him about um, the disappointment in the situation in and of itself, but also... You know, I think we've earned the ability to say, I trust that you're going to do the work to figure it out. And, um, you know, that's that's all you can do right now. Uh, you, you rely on the history, you rely on the confidence and, and who I know him to be. And, you know, kind of put all your chips in that. So uh, I think... I don't want to overcomplicate it because it's 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 still fresh and new and like to your point I, or the question around you know, how it was practiced today, even just how we talked about it and you know try to get on the same page with how we're addressing it, but also know we have work to do. Like all those things um, are pretty fluid, and we just try to address it the best way we can. But I know between me and Dre, between Dre and the rest of the team, like all those personal, you know, relationships and the communication lines, like it starts with honesty and openness. And uh, you know, we've been together for so long. I think we know how to have those conversations. Two, two things. Number one is how, how did his apology land this morning? We heard he was, you know, out in front of the team. I. Uh, I mean, it's necessary, but you'd have to ask every guy, individual, how they received it. I mean, JP especially, but it's not for me to kind of summarize that. The other thing, just there's a generational gap in this team that's, you know, in some ways kind of unique. Um, just what are your view of just kind of the, those dynamics at play right now? I mean, everything is important. How we handle this situation is important. Uh, how Draymond responds to uh, the space that he needs to to come back with the right frame of mind on again doing the work, you know, coming with the right energy, making it about the team. Like all those things are important, and for him. You know, one of his superpowers is being able to bring his fire and com competitiveness and his voice. And I don't want him to ever lose that. So whatever it takes to maintain that presence and trust and, and re <clears throat> rebuild whatever he needs to, like, that's that's the journey we're going to be on. So um, the young guys have to believe in who we are and what we've built and the culture that we feel like can help us get through stuff like this. And uh, it's up to, you know, me, Andre, the guys, Clay, the guys that have been around to to embody that on a daily basis. So um, I think that's what we do really well. Have you had a chance to watch uh, Victor Wembanyama play yet? Yeah, I watched the, uh, a little bit of the game the other day. They play again tonight, right? Uh I mean, he's out here solid. putting up numbers from three like you. Yeah, he's like the 2K creative player. Every point guard that wants to be seven foot Tico type vibes, but he, he's 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 a solid talent. It's great to watch. They had a, it's a pretty entertaining game uh, with the Ignite team, so it's dope. You've uh, been a part of a lot of intense, high spirited practices. I didn't think much of anything was going on, but then when it crossed the line, what was your immediate, where'd your mind go and how did you digest what you just saw or a part of? Um, it's about protecting the team and that includes Draymond and JP in that moment. Like, make sure everybody's cool. Like, if I, create those boundaries that need to need to be in place and then you know, again get to the, the conversation that need to happen like right away and you know the rest of the day and this morning. So I didn't know how to kind of rationalize what happened in the moment, but you also uh kind of just spring into action on trying to problem solve as quick as possible. Uh, and again protect those two guys and the rest of the team on uh you kind of set the stage for how we're gonna get through it. So uh it's not like you can wave a magic wand and 
you do it all in that moment, but you, you start that groundwork on like setting the tone of how we're going to get through this and a lot of experience on how to do that. What's, what's the value that a guy like Andre can bring as sort of a, I guess, leadership lieutenant to you on getting through things like this? He does an amazing job of saying all the right things at the right times to the right people. Um, sometimes in front of the team, sometimes on a one-to-one -one basis. Uh, and every bit of it is important. Whether it's positive encouragement of stuff that's going on on the court or whether it's problem solving, you know, some turmoil within the locker room and stuff like that. And that's always been apparent. And that value is you almost... It's, it's it's invaluable what he what he brings in that front. So, so I'm not gonna sit here and catalog every conversation he had yesterday, but it was a lot in terms of you know bringing leadership and a presence of somebody whose voice is so respected across all the different generations that we have in the locker room um, and coaches and front office as well. I just want to touch on this this point when you're talking about protecting the team, which includes Draymond and JP, uh, as your immediate instinct. What do you mean by protect meet them where they are in that moment um try not to make it more than what it is but uh level set on we're all here for a specific reason to play basketball at a very high level and all have success and there's a lot riding on the fabric of the team to set everybody up for success and people trying to get paid protect you know provide for their families people trying to level up in their careers you know we're trying to win championships all those things matter. Uh, so protecting the team is anything that falls into the category of making sure that we're set up for success to just go hope and have fun and enjoy, you know, the reason that we're all here. Um, so it kind of means a lot of different things. Steph, Bob uh, kind of pushed back on the idea that the contract stuff was part of this. I mean, you've got as good a feel of, of the group as anybody. Do you feel like that situation with, with Dre and with Jordan and, and even Andrew has created a, a tough environment to move through? Is, is that playing a part here? From what I feel and what has been said, no. So I got a lot of confidence in that, but um, that's for Draymond and to kind of speak on whenever, whenever that time is right. With, uh, with Draymond, like obviously he has a history of being emotional and you guys like that at that part of him. Um, but was this like something that was boiling over? Was it just like an emotional outburst, like a fluke kind of situation or what kind of like triggered this to happen? I, I don't I don't know, but I think Monty, to Monty's question, it was nothing out of the ordinary until it wasn't. <laughs> so... Again, you just deal with with reality as it comes, and you know that's what we're all doing right now. Do you do you um as the the OG on the team? Do you feel like uh, part of your role is making sure the young younger players who haven't been through anything like this for kind of understand what's happening and wh what's good and what's bad out of it? One thousand percent. Uh, that's what the job entails. That's. Even if it doesn't, I assume that responsibility because uh, everything does matter in terms of making sure everybody's experience is is uh, is fun, is enjoyable, is memorable. Whether we win or lose, like we spend so much time in the confines of you know this team atmosphere, it, it all matters. And haven't been around and seen so much. Uh, hopefully, I can relate and articulate what uh, what it's going to take to get through stuff like this. And it is possible to get through stuff like this. So that's, uh, I don't want to be too somber, but it, it's, it's, uh, so these like inflection points in these moments can make or break a team. And my job is not let it break us at all. You're listening to Steph Curry talking to the media. You listen to the 95-7, the game. And uh, some guys played really well. Uh, it actually ended, the scrimmage ended in a tie, in case anybody wanted to know how basketball went today. It was phenomenal. So 
We get out. We get to those questions later, right? Have you seen yeah. Scoot Henderson? That's what we need to know. Uh, I'm a graduate now, so I can use big words. <laughs>